The Woman Who Talked to Plants Once upon a time, there was a woman named Lily. She lived in a small village surrounded by lush green fields and forests. Lily had a unique gift. She could talk to plants. She knew exactly what each plant needed, and they would thrive under her care. One day, a wicked sorcerer arrived in the village. He had a powerful spell that could turn the fields and forests barren. The villagers were terrified as their crops began to wither and the trees lost their leaves. No one knew what to do. Lily decided to use her gift to save the village. She went to the sorcerer and asked him to spare the fields and forests. But the sorcerer was cruel and laughed at her request. Lily was not deterred. She went into the forest and talked to the trees, asking them to help her. The trees listened to her plea and began to rustle their leaves. They called out to the animals of the forest and asked them to help as well. Soon, all the creatures of the forest were gathered around Lily, ready to help. Lily led the animals to the fields, and they began to work together to protect the crops. The rabbits nibbled on the weeds, the birds ate the pests, and the bees pollinated the flowers. The trees provided shade, and the plants grew strong and healthy. The sorcerer saw what was happening and was amazed. He had never seen anything like it before. He decided to leave the village in peace, and the fields and forests flourished once again. Lily became a hero, and the villagers looked up to her with admiration and gratitude. From that day on, they knew that the power of nature was a force to be reckoned with, and they treated it with respect and care. The Strong Woman Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived a woman named Mara. Mara was known to be the strongest woman in the village. She could lift boulders, chop wood, and plow fields with ease. Her strength was unmatched, and the villagers respected her greatly. Mara was proud of her strength and believed that it was what made her special. One day, a group of travelers came to the village. Among them was a wise old man who asked Mara, Why do you think you are the strongest woman in the village? Mara replied with confidence, Because I can lift heavy things and do tasks that others cannot. The old man smiled and said, Strength is not just about physical ability. It's also about the strength of character, the strength to overcome challenges and to help others. Mara was taken aback by the old man's words. She had never thought about strength in that way before. The next day, she decided to follow the old man and learn more from him. They walked for many miles, and finally, they reached a village that was in desperate need of help. The villagers were suffering from a severe drought, and their crops had withered away. Mara watched as the old man rallied the villagers and came up with a plan to dig a well to provide water for their crops. Everyone worked together tirelessly for many days, and finally, the well was complete. The village was saved from the drought, and the crops grew lush and green. Mara had never felt so fulfilled in her life. On the journey back to her village, Mara realized that true strength came from helping others and being kind, compassionate, and selfless. 
she returned to her village with a newfound understanding of strength and shared her knowledge with the other villagers. They too were inspired to help others and make a positive difference in the world. From that day on, Mara used her strength not just to lift heavy objects but also to lift people's spirits. She became a beacon of hope and inspiration to everyone around her. Mara's story spread far and wide, and she became known as the strong woman with a heart of gold. Her legacy lived on for generations, inspiring others to be strong in more ways than one. The Unlikely Friendship Once upon a time, in a small village nestled in the rolling hills of the countryside, there lived two creatures that you might not expect to be friends. One was a rabbit named Thumper, who hopped around the meadow all day, nibbling on clover and enjoying the sunshine. The other was a crow named Charlie, who perched in the trees, cawing and flapping his wings as he watched the world go by. Thumper and Charlie had always been wary of each other, as rabbits and crows don't usually get along. But one day, something happened that would change everything. It was a beautiful spring morning, and Thumper was hopping through the meadow, enjoying the warmth of the sun on his fur. Suddenly, he heard a loud cawing noise, and he looked up to see Charlie perched in a nearby tree, looking distressed. Thumper hopped over to investigate, and he saw that Charlie's nest had fallen out of the tree and was lying on the ground, broken. Thumper felt sorry for Charlie and offered to help him fix his nest. Charlie was surprised but grateful, and the two of them worked together to gather twigs and grass to rebuild the nest. As they worked, they began to talk, and Thumper learned that Charlie had always been a loner, never really making any friends in the village. Thumper, on the other hand, had lots of friends and was always surrounded by other rabbits. As the days went by, Thumper and Charlie continued to hang out together, exploring the meadow and the village. They discovered that they both loved to play, and they had fun chasing each other around and hiding in the bushes. Thumper showed Charlie how to hop like a rabbit, and Charlie taught Thumper how to fly, or at least, how to flap his arms and pretend to fly. Their friendship continued to grow, and soon they were inseparable. They would spend hours talking and playing, and Thumper even introduced Charlie to his other rabbit friends. At first, the rabbits were wary of Charlie, but they soon realized that he was just like them. He loved to play and have fun, and he was kind and loyal to his friends. In the end, Thumper and Charlie's friendship became the talk of the village. People were amazed that a rabbit and a crow could be such good friends, but Thumper and Charlie didn't care. They knew that their friendship was special and that they would always be there for each other, no matter what. And so, they continued to hop and fly and play together, enjoying the beauty of their unlikely friendship for many years to come.